Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over engine management for the F5. So the first engine controls are obviously the throttle levers here. There's two throttle levers, one for the left engine and one for the right engine. So whenever you push the throttles forward, it puts more air and gas into the engine, which makes it spin faster, which obviously makes your plane fly faster. So on the right side of the plane is all the engine instruments. Um, so this left column has the instruments for the left engine and this right column is for the right engine. So the two top instruments are the RPMs for the left and right engine. The RPM is just how fast the engine spins. So if I bring my throttles back, obviously the RPM will go down. Just below those are the uh, temperatures for the engines. And just below those are the gauges for the nozzle positions. So the nozzles are these two things on the back of the engines. And as you increase and decrease the throttle, the nozzles can open up and close. So that's what this is showing you. And then this little gauge on the right here is the oil pressure. This engine does have afterburner. So if you want to put the engine into afterburner, you just push the throttles all the way forward. And after a couple seconds, you'll be able to hear them come on. The afterburner allows the plane to fly super fast. However, it also uses a lot of fuel, so just use it sparingly. Another engine control you'll see are these here, the auxiliary intake doors. So the auxiliary intake doors are these doors on the sides of the planes. You can see it's closed right now, but whenever the plane slows down, the doors will open. Basically, the auxiliary intakes are extra air intakes to give the engine more power, power when you're flying slowly. So I'm going to go ahead and slow the plane down now, and once I get to a certain speed, you'll notice that the doors will open. So you can see the doors just open now, and you can see this is what the doors uh, look like when they're opened. The auxiliary intake doors are controlled completely automatically, so I'm just letting you know what they are. Alright, so now I'll go over what to do if there's an engine fire. So there's two engine fire detectors. Uh, this light right here is for the left engine, and this light here is for the right engine. So if one of your engines gets caught on fire, let's say my right engine gets caught on fire, what you want to do is you want to turn the right engine off. So to turn the right engine off, you pull the throttle all the way back, and then you put the throttle to the off position. For the right engine, to put the throttle in the off position, you hold right shift and click end. For the left engine, you would hold right alt and click end. Then after that, you would want to shut off fuel to whatever engine's on fire. So for the right engine, I'd come over here, and I'd lower this cap, and I'd push this down. The F5, unfortunately, does not have a fire extinguisher, so you're just going to have to shut the engine down and cut out the fuel and hope that the fire stops. All right, so now I'll go over what to do if you have an engine failure. So if your engine fails and you need to restart it, first you take the throttle of the engine that failed and you bring it all the way back. So let's say my right engine failed, I bring the right throttle all the way back, and then you gotta put it to the off position. So for the right throttle, the off position is hold right shift and click end. And for the left throttle, it would be hold right alt and click end. So now you've got to get sufficient airspeed to restart. My other engine's running, so I'm already going fast enough. Um, but if both of your engines were cut out, if you had enough altitude, you would need to put your plane into a slight dive so you can get sufficient airspeed. Once you're going fast enough, what you do is you come to the engine start buttons and you're going to hold it for a couple seconds and then you're going to put the throttle, the throttle to the idle position. So for the right throttle, it's right shift home and the RPM should start going up. You're going to wait for the RPM to get to the red line and then you can move your throttle forward and fly like normal. So I can bring my throttle up now and the engine is restarted. The manual says that if both of your engines cut out, they highly recommend to restart your left engine first uh, because a lot of the hydraulic systems run off the left engine. That was engine management for the F5. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you later.